Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ruben here again. Today we'll be talking about the cost for dental implants. So the cost for dental implants, um, it's, while it's easy to say a cost, we need to understand the intricacies as to why the cost would differ from time to time. Now the first thing is the type of dental implants. Now there are probably about 20 to 40 or maybe even more brands of dental implants out there. Some implants are made in Switzerland, Germany, Finland and America. Some implants are made in China, India or Korea. So due to the fact these implants and brands are made in different countries and in different sort of circumstances, the cost for implants can vary from clinic to clinic. If the clinic uses an implant from a cheaper alternative, the cost for implant goes down. If the implant is made in a, a country like Germany or Switzerland, the cost for an implant goes up. So that's one reason why sometimes costs would vary from time to time. The second reason why the cost of implants would vary is due to the fact that in some cases, in some patients, there, there may not be sufficient bone for the implants to be placed in. In those cases, the clinician may then need to actually grow some bone around the area, a process called bone grafting, or if there's no bone around the sinus, we need to do what we call a sinus lifting. Now, this would be, of course, with, comes in with, a, with an additional cost because anytime we need to grow bone, whether it's in, in a jaw or in the sinuses, um, there's bone material that needs to be used and placed in there. Now, bone material in general would come from a few sources as well. It could come from a bovine source, it could come from another human being, it could come from your own bone, or it could come from a synthetic material, and they're all covered with collagen. Now, if the grafting is extensive, sometimes we may need to put pins around the area to hold the graft in place as well. Now, the smaller the graft is, means that the grafting cost might be cheaper. The, the bigger the graft is, the grafting becomes more expensive. So that would also dictate what the overall cost for implants would be. The third thing is the method of placing the implants. Now, there's two, generally two ways to place implants these days. The first method is to do it traditionally where we cut the gums, we raise and lift the, the gums away from the bone, look at the bone, drill a hole in the bone, place the implant in and close it up and stitch them together. So this is what, what we call the traditional method. Now the benefit with this method is that the cost, there's no extra cost to it, but the disadvantage is that you may end up with some swelling, some discomfort, and a, it's a bit more traumatic for some patients. The second way to do an Im or place an implant is what we call a keyhole surgery. Now, to do a keyhole surgery means that all we need to do is to create a special guide. So we scan your teeth using a 3D technology. We will create a special guide to allow us to fit into your mouth. And with that guide, all we need to do is create a little hole around the gums and the implant goes in straight away. Now, this would remove the need of cutting the gums, peeling the gums back, play around with the bone and stitching them together. So the keyhole method is a lot less invasive where a little hole is created on the top, implant goes in and it's done. So there's no, no lift in the gums, no suturing, no stitching and very, very minimal to, none, to no swelling. So that's the, that's the advantage there. Now looking at these two methods here, the doing a keyhole method will involve a, a small additional cost because it's, it's due to the fact we need to actually fabricate and manufacture the surgical guide for the patient. And a lot of these guides would range between $400 to $700, depending on the complexity of the guide. Also bear in mind that not all cases can be done using the guided surgery. In some cases where you need to do bone grafting, the traditional method is the only way to do it. However, some clinicians would prefer to use a guide in conjunction with the, with the traditional method to allow better accuracy especially if the implant position is actually in a tight corner or a tight position and is in a tricky position as well, the usage of the, of the surgical guide would enhance the accuracy of the clinician to, be, to allow him or her to place the implants at the right spot. So there's these two other factors you need to think about as well. And finally, the last reason why the cost for the implants would be, would be a bit different, be the need to do an immediate crown placement over the implant. For example, if you have a front tooth and you put an implant in, typically implants, you need to leave them buried in there for three months before you put the final crown on. So during that three month period, the, the patient would be walking out without a front tooth. 
and that's not what we want to see. All right, so you've got a few options here. You can either put a denture in, so like a little flipper that you put it in there, you take it out after, after meals to rinse it, and you put it back in, and that would form a very temporary basis to have at least a tooth when you're talking and laughing and when you're working. The second way to do it is to, uh, to actually do an immediate crown placement over the implant. Now, this can be done in only specific situations where there's enough tightness of the implant in the bone, but assuming there's enough tightness, to actually make that special crown uh, would incur additional costs uh, because it's a special fabrication, uh, there's more time needed to do it, and it's a brand new tooth that we're making for you during a three month period. Based on these four different sort of levels of approach in implantology, the cost of implants will vary from time to time, from person to person, and from clinic and practices as well. So just to give you a ballpark figure of what implants would cost in general, um, would be between $2,000 all the way to $5,000. Uh, depending on, of course, whether it's any grafting, how big the graft is. But again, this is just an estimate. It could be a bit more um, due, due to certain reasons, like if the, if the grafting is ex super extensive, or it could be less depending on what implants you use and whether there's a need to replace the tooth while we're waiting for the implants to heal. So again, it's a, it's a very wide sort of topic and most of the time patients always ask why is there such a big variance? Now we know why there's a variance with it and hopefully this video has given you a bit more information in terms of why there's a cost difference. Of course, please do forward this video to anyone who may need it and to understand as to why um, implants will cost a dif differently from time to time as well. Well, thank you for your time again and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye.